If you're going to make the decision to go into show business, you're well aware that your every move is going to be followed, your sentences scrutinized, and anything posted on social media will be used against you for years to come. Today, we meet some well-known ex-celebs that went on a path of self-destruction and ruined their own careers. Number 17, Michael Richards. You might only know him as Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld, for which he won Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series three times. However, not many people remember him for those achievements, but rather the racist tangent that spewed from his mouth in 2006. He was doing a bit of stand-up when one of the audience members started giving him a hard time, and he immediately started going into the black man with several racial comments. According to many, that was the end of his career. Number 16, Jennifer Grey. She played the role of Jeannie Bueller in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but you're more likely to know her from Dirty Dancing. Jennifer Grey had a promising future ahead of her. She was in two of the biggest movies of the 80s, so what went wrong? Well, roles weren't plentiful in the early 90s, so she thought it would be a good idea to get a bit of work done on her nose. Sure, she didn't have the whopper nose she had before, but she was also unrecognizable. It was the beginning of the end for Jennifer Grey. Number 15, Danny Mathers. This is a moment that former Playmate of the Year will regret for the rest of her life. Danny Mathers went for a workout at LA Fitness and took a photo of a 70-year-old lady who was getting changed and she posted it to Snapchat with the caption, if I can't unsee this, then you can't either. As expected, the post went viral and she was called out for body shaming. Her awful decision lost her modeling contracts and she ended up in court. The judge had no sympathy and she had to do many hours of community service. Number 14, Amanda Bynes. The rise and fall of Amanda Bynes is enough to make an entire YouTube video, but in a nutshell, this former child star's life unraveled at a seriously fast pace. What should have been a pretty easy transition from child star to adult star didn't quite work out the same way as it did for Anne Hathaway or Emma Stone, and Bynes decided to tweet the following in 2010. I don't love acting anymore, so I've stopped doing it. Not a good start for her, and things got worse from there when she had numerous run-ins with cops for various reasons. She's meant to be finished finishing fashion school this year and is hoping to return to acting. Well, we wish her luck. Number 13, Hulk Hogan. Just the thought of Hulk Hogan having one of those tapes leaked is enough to put anyone off from the start. And this particular one was filled with the most awful racist tirade, getting the former wrestling champ into a lot of hot water. Not only did his poor choice of words evoke anger among many, he was completely removed from all WWE events, including the Hall of Fame. He did go on to successfully sue the website Gawker, who posted the video, but by then, the damage was already done. Number 12, Wesley Snipes. We don't blame you if you don't even recognize the name, but he's the guy who acted in films like White Men Can't Jump and Tu Wong Fu and a few others, netting him quite a tidy sum of money. Of course, the right thing to do would have been to save and pay his taxes, but that was not the case with Snipes. His tax offenses were so bad that he landed up in jail. He ended up having to fork up $17 million for his taxes and the penalties, and of course, making movies from jail is not the easiest thing to do. Hence, we seem to have forgotten about him. Number 11, Abby Lee Miller. American dance coach Abby Lee Miller found her claim to fame on the reality television series called Dance Moms. She's certainly going through trying times at the moment, but things fell apart for her when she filed for bankruptcy, and it surfaced that she had hidden $775,000 in income from Dance Moms. She was sentenced in 2017 to 12 months and one day in federal prison. In April of 2018, she was diagnosed with Burkitt lymphoma and is currently in hospital recovering from surgery. Number 10, Charlie Sheen. Where do we even start with this story? Sheen has had one catastrophe after the next, and to pinpoint the start is actually pretty challenging. It was quite possibly in 2011 when he went to rehab and insulted the creators of Two and a Half Men, saying that he was grossly underpaid. That didn't bode well with them, and they fired him. Free fall after that for Sheen, who seemed to do the most bizarre things like smoking cigarettes through his nose. The real clangor came when it was revealed that he was HIV positive and had bedded hundreds hundreds of women in the interim. He's trying to restart his career, so whether that will work, only time will tell. Number 9. Azalea Banks Who? We know. 
let us remind you. She began releasing music through MySpace in 2008 and people took notice. She was then signed to XL Recordings and after a couple of successful singles, signed to Interscope and Polydor Records. What went wrong when it looked like everything was going right? She caused quite a bit of drama on Twitter. In fact, her account is currently deactivated. She caused trouble with ASAP Rocky, Lady Gaga, and more, and also accused Zayn Malik of stealing her look on his music video for Like I Would. She quickly lost fans, lost her Twitter account, and was taken off the lineup for the London Born and Bred Festival. Number 8. Michael Vick Former American football quarterback, let us introduce you to Michael Vick, who played 13 successful seasons with the National Football League. This guy had the most incredible rushing abilities and even held a record for the most career rushing yards by a quarterback, a total of 6,109. This boy had everything going for him, but he was also into dogfighting. He ended up getting arrested for his involvement in this heinous activity and served 21 months in jail. He did play a little after he was released, but it was obviously never the same. He retired retired from football in 2016 but didn't manage his money very well, so he was rather fortunate that he was hired as offensive coordinator for the new alliance of American football franchise in Atlanta. Number 7. Brendan Fraser this is one guy that seemed to have everything going for him. Good looks, a promising Hollywood career, and charm. He was the whole package. Yet, his Hollywood career ground to a halt. He's not that obscure anymore, though, and has been featured in two television series, The Affair and Condor. He had success with films like The Mummy and Journey to the Center of the Earth, but when he was asked to reprise his role in Journey to the Mysterious Island, he turned it down. That's when things went belly up for Frasier, and that film raked in $335 million from a budget of just 79 million. Frazier has often been asked why he turned down numerous roles, and his reasoning is depression that started after he was allegedly assaulted by a Hollywood exec. Number 6. Kevin Hart Hart was the golden boy of Hollywood. His career was going well, he had cash in the bank, people loved him, and he had a beautiful wife who was expecting their third child. That just wasn't enough for Hart, though, as he was caught on film getting a little too close to a model in a Las Vegas hotel room. The model claimed to have hooked up with Hart several times over the course of three days and said she had no idea he was married. It's certainly not the first time he's done something like this, and many suggest that because of this scandal, movie execs will certainly not be knocking on his door, offering him a big role in their next film. Number 5. Perez Hilton You really have to wonder what was going through Perez Hilton's mind when he deemed it acceptable to post images of Miley's, um, parts on his Twitter account. At the time of the incident, Miley was underage, and it was a horrible violation of her privacy. Granted, it hasn't been the end of his career, but it had some serious repercussions for him. He received a lot of criticism from furious fans, lost advertisers, and was even threatened with jail time. He made right with everyone by posting a serious video of apology, and he's been a lot tamer since that incident, but it nearly cost him his career. Number 4. Paula Deen a familiar face in every household, Paula Deen has been involved with many well-loved cooking shows like Top Chef and Master Chef, as well as Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and even a role in a movie called Elizabethtown. She released 15 recipe books and is the owner of a couple of successful restaurants. The cookie began to crumble for this food lady when it turned out that she was more than a little racist. When she was questioned about all of this in court, she openly admitted it to the Food Network, and they were having none of it. They decided not to renew her contract despite the many open apologies she made. Number 3. Jennifer Lawrence You might be a little surprised to hear her name on this list, but let us explain. She's had a bad run with some negative publicity lately, which included information cropping up that she had an affair with Chris Pratt, which was the reason why he divorced Anna Faris. She also starred in Darren Aronofsky's movie Mother, which is just weird, we know, understatement of the century, and then randomly blamed Trump supporters for Hurricane Irma. On top of those facts, apparently she's a real diva on set and a nightmare to work with. If she continues down that path, her castings are going to become few and far between. Number 2. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay has been in the spotlight since she was three years old, and it was an easy transition to film from there onwards. She went from the soap opera Another World to the remake of The Parent Trap, and then a few more successful films thereafter. It all came crashing down in 2007 when she was involved in an MVA and had done a stint in Wonderland Center Rehab Facility in LA. She was eventually charged with a DUI, being in possession of something that she really shouldn't have, and a hit and run. You'd think that would be a big wake-up call for her, but no. Two months later, it happened again. In a nutshell, she's been in rehab three times, jail twice, and the hospital four times. 
Number one, Bill Cosby. We don't really even need to go down this road because every news site or gossip column has been writing about him since his allegations all came to light. In March 2018, he was found guilty of what he put Andrea Constant through and received 10 years for each of the three of the charges against him. Did we leave anyone off this list? Comment down below. Thanks so much for watching our video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos every day.